Hi, I'm Riser Geek for Review or Die, and here is my review of The Conjuring 2. Ah, horror. I love horror in all aspects of it. From the so bad it's good to the genuinely unnerving. The only kind of horror film I take issue with is the bland kind, where it feels they're just ticking boxes. The first Paranormal Activity film was a bit different, and although I didn't find it scary, I could still appreciate it. But then they went on to make four more that just jumped through the same circles and get the same kind of jump scares, and I pretty much gave up halfway through the fourth film. That's not to say I'm against the concept of long horror series. After all, one of my favourite film series is the Saw franchise, but they had an ongoing plot as well as an instalment contained one, and there was always a twist coming for those who were sticking with it. When I heard The Conjuring was getting a sequel, I was pretty happy about it. The first film was, in my opinion, one of the better horror films in recent years. Again, I didn't find it that scary, but the plot kept me interested and I was invested in the characters as you get the feeling that the protagonists really are at the mercy of the evil spirit. The sequel is set sometime after the first and picks up just after Ed and Lorraine Warren's involvement with the Amityville case. They are all over American TV and are constantly being accused of being fakes, leading them, mostly Ed, feeling bitter and considering giving up the whole saving people from evil spirits thing. But then they hear about the Hodgson family in England, who are being tormented by the ghost of an old man. Despite what the family experienced and what we as the audience see, the Warrens have trouble proving the legitimacy of the case, leading us and them to question all the so-called evidence. Without wanting to give too much away, I would say it is quite jarring just how different the spirit looks in this film. The moment that springs to mind is when the ghost takes on the form of the crooked man, a CGI monster looking like he's walked in from a Guillermo del Toro film next door, instead of the usual humanoid with a messed up face that James Wan is known for. But by the end, it may be that we were supposed to think that it was out of place. I can recommend this film to fans of the first film, as in my opinion it's better paced, and there's a lot more depth to it, and to fans of horror in general. It may not be the scariest film I've seen, but its presentation makes it easy to forgive that. So yes, James Wan has indeed done it again. The acting is believable, with the right kind of uncanny from the actors portraying the spirits in voice and person, it was a genuinely unnerving experience watching this in a mostly empty theatre. I obviously can't say how effective this film may be to you, but I wouldn't advise you to watch it on your own at night. 